Hello, church family. I wanted to take just a minute to update you on the situation at our Adventist University in Buka, Ukraine. Now, many of you have been praying along with me for this university, which has been housing lots of refugees. But for those of you who aren't familiar with the situation, all of our Adventist schools and churches that are safe to do so have been opened up as refugee locations for people to be able to sleep, get food, and have spiritual care. And by the way, that's not just in Ukraine, but that's also in surrounding countries. I know, for instance, I've seen some refugees in an Adventist church in Poland that's been opened up for refugees there. They're doing the Lord's work, caring for the needs of those who are in need, even while they are in need themselves. Well, we had heard that the Adventist College in Buka, Ukraine, was housing 150 refugees, and they had asked for a prayer, and we'd been praying that their food supply would hold out, and apparently it has. But this week we heard that the city of Buka had come under severe attack, and there were rumors that the college had also come under attack. Now, I wasn't able to confirm about whether the college itself was attacked, but I did uh, send a message asking what the situation is. And so here's the latest that I know. The message says, um, our education director just texted to say that they were able to evacuate all the internally displaced people that were taking refuge on our college campus in Buka. So that's good news. They were all able to uh, evacuate. Further, he says that the principals or the directors of our 24 schools who are th that are there in Ukraine are all still alive, although some are in a, quote, very hot place. And then a little bit more detail that was sent was that the students were evacuated last week and are at a youth camp in the western part of the country. But there were about 240 internally displaced persons, mostly women and children, who were taking refugee, uh, who were taking refuge on the campus of our Adventist College in, in Buka. No, knows that number is up 200 to 250. Last we heard it was 150, now it's 240. And so more and more people came. But So thank God that they were able to be evacuated and apparently the food supply did last. So um, I was also sent some pictures. So these pictures here are of the Adventist school in uh, Chernivisti, Ukraine. And I could be wrong on how that's pronounced. I have no idea how that's pronounced. Um, it's become a center for receiving immigrants from the east and central part of Ukraine where the war is taking place. These photos were sent by the director of the school, Ala Gassian. Again, I don't know about the, pr the pronunciation of this. More than 15,000 Avenus families from Kiev and its, en and its environs have now fled to the territory of this one conference alone. So thank you for your prayers and support. So there are some pictures there. While you're looking at those pictures, let me mention if you would like to help out in help our brothers and sisters there, the most important thing you can do is pray. Pray for them. Uh, pray for their, their safety, but most importantly, pray for God to provide for their needs and for them to stay strong with God. It's exciting to see that they are reaching out, and even though they're in such a hard situation, our Adventist brothers and sisters are reaching out to others who are in need. They're being God's light. They're being God's love right there in in the midst of the battlefield, in the midst of the war. So pray for our brothers and sisters as they continue to minister and to share the good news of the gospel in this war-torn area. Pray for the, the innocent victims of this war. There's lots of innocent victims, civilians and, and so on in, in, this, in this battle. So continue to pray for them as well. And also, if you'd like to financially help out, I'd like to recommend that you get in contact with ADRA, Adventist Development and Relief Agency. Their website is adra.org, A-D-R-A dot O-R-G. And they actually were already set up in the area and they've been able to respond. In fact, they were able to get in there and be responding within just a really short time after 
the hostilities begin. And so they're doing a very active relief work. It's changing every day as it needs to. In a, in a war-torn area, that, that's how that happens. But they're on the front lines helping with the needs of the people in Ukraine. And if you go to adra.org, you'll be able to actually see uh, more details, more up-to-date information about what's happening because they keep that up-to-date. So again, that website is adra.org, Adventist Development and Relief Agency.org. And you can find out updates about how ADRA is helping uh, with those in need beyond just what our individual members in Ukraine and Poland and the areas around there are doing to help their neighbors in need as well. So let's keep them in our prayers. Um, God bless you. Let's keep them in our prayers and keep moving forward.